Hey everyone, I'm Ian Norman from Lonely Spec, and today we're in Mackey, Idaho, uh, right near the Mackey Reservoir, and we're currently camped out here for the solar eclipse, uh, which is happening tomorrow morning. So this is the first time that we've ever gone to see a total solar eclipse. Um, in the past, we've seen sort of a partial annular eclipse. Took a few photos of that in Venice Beach, California. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, we had to drive about a thousand miles uh, from LA up to Idaho in order to get to the spot. And uh, the cool, cool thing about this, this area is that it's, it's Bureau of Land Management land. So uh, the whole area is sort of kind of open dispersed camping. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other uh, people here as well. Campsites just sort of scattered all around the lake. And uh, you know, everybody sort of set up shop to see the eclipse tomorrow. Um, we have a few people just right next to us that brought all their solar scopes and telescopes and binoculars and everything. So, you know, there's a lot of enthusiasts here who are looking forward to seeing the eclipse. It's pretty cool. We're pretty much right on the center of the path of totality. So we should get a pretty long amount of time, pretty much a full two minutes in order to see uh, the eclipse. And uh, I'm not really concentrating on, on photographing it this time. I really just want to sort of observe it. I'll have my camera set up and I think I'm just going to set it on a time lapse with auto exposure um, just to sort of, you know, capture it. And uh, we'll probably record some video and stuff, but most of the time, you know, I, I want to see it with my own eyes. We did buy some cheap uh, eclipse glasses off of B&H and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just use those right up until the point of totality. I'm pretty excited. I think it should be pretty cool. So we have our camp set up here and so we'll probably photograph the Milky Way a little bit. I haven't gotten the opportunity to photograph the Milky Way in, in quite a while. Um, I had one short opportunity uh, at Convict Lake in California and I took a few shots there, but I'm excited to be able to, to take a few shots now. I have a new setup for my camera where it's mounted to a panorama head. It's just a horizontal panorama head that sweeps to different detents for different degree amounts. So I can do uh, as little as eight degrees per detent or up to 18 degrees. And I'm gonna be using that with my 50 millimeter lens to do some really high resolution stacked panoramas. And that'll be kind of a future video where I talk about how we can combine exposure stacking, exposure blending, as well as panorama stitching into one final uh, really high resolution and really low noise astrophoto. So that's something that uh, we can look forward to on the YouTube channel. Morning. Um, so right now it's about 9.15, so we've got about one hour until the eclipse starts. I photographed the Milky Way last night, um, tried to use some new techniques. I shot a stacked panorama using eight frames per panorama uh, frame. So I, I think I got some good shots last night, but mostly we're here to see the eclipse for ourselves. So hopefully it'll be a good show. So uh, the eclipse is underway right now. Um, if we look at the sun through our eclipse glasses, it looks like a crescent. And uh, it's, it's kind of cool. You can actually sort of tell just looking around the environment um, that it's getting darker. It's sort of like, seems like it, it could be a cloudy day or something like that, even though there are no clouds in the sky. One of the things that we were a little bit interested to see um, is how Tiger will react to the eclipse. Um, Diane and I both think that he won't really care and that he'll, <laughs> he'll just do nothing. Right now I have my uh, camera set over, up over there and it's basically just going to record some video as, as we transition into totality and then I'll switch it over to a time lapse mode just to take a few stills. In the few minutes leading up to totality, it got significantly darker and colder. Even right up until about 99% of totality, the small sliver of sun that just peeked out behind the moon was too bright to actually look at directly. 
When we reached 100% totality, one of my favorite parts of the experience was the party-like atmosphere created by the people around us. Oh! Whoa, take your glasses off! <laughs> On August 21st, millions of people had an excellent excuse to travel hundreds of miles to stand for two minutes in the shadow of the moon. For many of these people, photography was what they planned to do during the eclipse. An unusual thing, the solar eclipse, became a great excuse for millions of people to practice photography. As photographers, I think we've realized that most of the time the inverse is usually true. We practice photography as a great excuse to do unusual things. <laughs> 